Kansas by Mike Lindahl, a construction contractor, and Cheryl Bell, a registered nurse. Mr. Lindahl and Ms. Bell are the founders and co-chairs of the Riley County Tea Party Express. Welcome. They're going to say the Tea Party represents the voice of the true owners of the United States. Mike, tell us why you became involved with the Tea Party movement. Well, first and foremost, we want to take our country back. All right, just to be clear, is your country my country too? <laughs> of course. Okay. Who do you want to take our country back from? Well, we want to take it back from a Congress and a president who've forgotten that government derives its power from the consent of the governed and instead is at the beck and call of special interests and corporations. You describe the Tea Party as a grassroots movement, right? Absolutely. We have no central control, no traditional power structure, and that is something that seems to confound the media. I'm sorry? That's what confounds the media. It's what the media doesn't get. We are not being run by a George Soros type figure. We are, we the people. They there it right is. It. If you follow the money, nearly all of it eventually leads to AFP. Where does your funding come from? What little funding we have comes from private citizens who mail in $5, $10, $1, whatever they can spare. Okay, have either of you ever heard the name David Koch? I'm sorry? David Koch. No. Have you ever heard the name Charles Koch? No. Have you ever heard the name Koch Industries? Are you talking about Coca-Cola? K-O-C-H. Have either of you heard of Koch Industries? No. I think that very soon you will. Koch Industries is the second largest private company in the country, bigger than Coca-Cola. And the Koch brothers' personal wealth of $50 billion is exceeded only by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, and they could buy and sell George Soros 10 times over. They own dozens of companies and industries, including oil and gas, refining and chemicals, minerals, fertilizer, forestry polymers, and fibers and ranching. You two both attended the Texas Defending the American Dream Summit over the July 4th weekend? It was a Tea Party event. The invitation... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. The invitation read... Today, the voices of average Americans are being drowned out by lobbyists and special interests, but you can do something about it. Yes. That summit was paid for entirely by Americans for Prosperity, AFP, which has two founders, David and Charles Cope. In the last six months, they bankrolled Tea Party candidates in excess of $40 million. Cheryl, Mike, are the Koch brothers average Americans whose voices are being drowned out by lobbyists and special interests? I'm confounded.